Hello, my name is Dan Johnson and welcome back to the Who podcast. Will has joined me once again Hello. for the final of the 60th anniversary specials, which of course is the late. giggle. Slightly later <laughs> than normal, <laughs> but hey, it happens when we, we work. Have, we and, have lives. Yeah, right. and stuff like that. Which is why we'll never do this podcast weekly. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, not just, you know, when doing it, I'm like, oh my God, I love the podcast. Yeah, and yeah. then when you tell me, do you want to record? I'm like, oh, for fuck. <laughs> But then when I'm doing it, I'm like, yeah, it, podcast. It's the effort to get into the into the house and into the scenario where you can record it. There again, is such it? an effort, isn't there? Yes, but it's okay because we're talking about Doctor Who and we'll get straight into it, shall we? Yeah, sure. With the giggle. So, I mean, obviously it opens up in the toy store, toy shop. Yeah. And yep. um, we I introduced a character called Stooky Bill first off. And uh, as we see in the previous episode, was that your was that your German accent? You just tried to do that. Ooh, sorry, not very good. Um, um, <laughs> your, your German accent needs work. <laughs> yeah, Stucky Bill, he's my friend. Yeah, how's that? It's, it's slightly stereotypical, but then again, so's the toy maker. Zibol. Oh, spoilers. Zibol. We do actually start the episode with the world in complete chaos. Trying to kill each other. We do. And it's, it's due to Stooky Bill. I think we kind of knew that that what well, you know that was happening, didn't well, we? Not... The whole laughing at the human yeah, race well, thing. We in the knew trailer. there was TV ness. We knew that he was going to the house of John Logie Bird um, at some point, or the invention of the television was going to get involved because. Mm. Well, uh, I think yeah. it was bro- broadcasting. Te- was it live television broadcasts or just broadcasts? I can't remember. Just broadcast. Uh, can I ask you a question before we start? Mm. Did you read th- the leak that happened to be pretty much 100% accurate before getting no, into it? No, I didn't. Did you not? I did not see any of it. It sort of rang a bell, but it's one of those things where, like, you think about it in hindsight. Like, I was thinking about it th- this afternoon, and I thought, did I did I see the leak and just sort of forget that I saw it? Or not read into it enough to see, think it was true? I I didn't see the leak when it came out, but after watching the episode, I thought, be a bit of a laugh. Let's go see how accurate that leak was. Spot on. Like was it? everything was spot on. And there's a second bit to that leak about the Church of Ruby Road, and I quickly clicked <laughs> off that. I was not reading that. What was the leak? Was it just the bioregeneration stuff that went into the leak? Bioregen literally scene by scene. Phone, shut up. Uh, literally scene by scene breakdown of what happened, and it was like spot really. On. So they got yeah. the the spice up your life bit the yeah yeah but yeah. really wow yeah yeah that that's not a leak that's a bloody plot reveal <laughs> yeah but I've, yeah I was just but how how could it be so accurate but I know. Yeah, someone's on. getting fired that's for sure because uh, Russell Davis says in the commentary about how he yeah, says yeah, some people will know already. yeah I I hope that they start tracking it down because it is awful and I've seen a lot of people say that if they didn't I avoid them. Yeah, if 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 that didn't pop up on Twitter or whatever, then they would have been far more surprised and enjoyed it more because of it. Right, yeah. I think I was quite lucky that anyway. I just sort of deleted it. <laughs> or if even if, <laughs> yeah. if I even saw it. But yes. So we start the episode with the human race fighting each other. After yeah. last week's cliffhanger, which I think was an absolutely brilliant cliffhanger, by the way. We do start off with Wilf not being there, but being sort of replaced by a double. And the world fighting each other. Violently. Yeah. Do you know what episode they took his line from? You go with the doctor. Poison Sky. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poison oh, Sky. Um, but I know, yeah. I know. I I know. It must have been very weird for. It, it does feel a little bit weird that he was there and then just sort of sent off, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. But you understand why he's done it. Um, mm-hmm. I do like the sort of attack that you know the at- attack scene that's going on with the toy maker. Uh, jumping around and dancing around in that in that gorgeous outfit, There's stuff like that. Oh it's yeah, it's a good way to start the. Oh, vous oui, monsieur. That was good. Mm. That wasn't bad. It wasn't bad for a stereotype. But speaking of stereotype, we'll get to the point where we're talking about um, the toy maker later on. Russell had an interesting thing to say in Unleashed. About what? About the toy maker being a racist character. Mm. So instead, instead of just making him normal, we're gonna make him a little bit racist because that wouldn't be true. Just like, what? 
But the performance of the toy maker wasn't racist. It was just the costume. Mm. Yeah, I see what you, mean. you know what I mean. But I think it's more about adding an element to the character that sort of mocks other cultures, and that's sort of where the accent comes from as well, where it's playing yeah. around with the accent. Because I mean, doing a German accent like that is, you know, stereotypical. It's frowned upon. Um, yeah. And the toy maker's doing it as a sort of like a, a game, I guess, to keep himself entertained as a way of talking um, when he's really mm. extremely British, extremely RP. And oh, yeah, I like that element that this character is subtly against oh, everyone else. Right. But what obviously it's, cannot... a, it's an omnipotent being, isn't he? He's not a, he's not a person yeah and it's nice to make reference to the costume as well because the costume is a mandarin i'm not gonna i understand that but then there's a there's a line that comes a little bit later that a certain character says which is a little bit oh russell why did you add that what's that oh did you come in a range of colors there (laughs) we go yeah 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 so it's like it's all good saying you want to correct the the your errors of the past Hmm. But then you add on also a line that acknowledges the doctor's skin color, like "Yeah, oh my god, it's the first black doc, black male doctor." Sorry, um, yeah, you but the fact that we kind of forgot about the roof doctor just terrified me a little bit. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully like, they'll add something to that at some stage. But I know we have literally skipped, and you could probably edit around this. Hmm. The Donna has seen the Doctor's mind since he's not been with her. I think I was wondering if that was a lie. So, but how she does she, doesn't surely remember. she knows? No, 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 no. Because we thought this last week that she was lying. But during the Marinette scene, she says um, she doesn't understand what's going on. So she doesn't know these people. She doesn't know about the other companions. She did not see into his mind. But she has. What do you mean? But she has. <laughs> It's not an argument. But she knows it. She may know it because she's inferred it from his face, from looking at the doctor, less than actually seeing the the event. Okay. Don't tap your microphone against your nose. <laughs> Let's talk about Toy Thank Maker you. then. Unit. Fantastic. Da- unit. Fantastic. Dance scene. By regeneration. Dance scene. With brilliant. Two iconic. things away. So, the Toy Maker will. So, of course. Fantastic. That's what you've got to say. This is my next thing. Will just wants to Neil get to Patrick the Harris, later. incredible. He will be will go down as one of the best villain performances of New Who. I think there's definitely some interesting elements to his character, and I think it's just fun, isn't it? If you like if the dance scene, is fun. All of it's fun. The 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 bit when he looks at Shooty with his teeth, with the extra tooth a bit, and he's got like extra teeth and things. It's all quite fun. I tried to I tried to you click can't... my teeth, but I just forgot how silly I look. Like that in it. Yeah, there's just lots of fun elements within it, and I think that that sort of carries the episode in this in the in the fact that the toy maker doesn't do a lot in terms of to, to ex, like sort of show his presence. Uh, you know, there's the stuff with the realm, you know, the puppet realm as we'll call it, and things like that. But I don't think the toy maker, yeah. ha- having just appeared in one episode and may do about fifteen different things, but in terms of a villain, there's not much to go on. So oh, yeah, I, I think a lot mean. of it is carried by his performance. And, I oh mean, yeah, his performance is brilliant. I mean, like, should we talk a little bit about the puppetry as well? Because oh, what that scene with um, Stooky Sue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Hey, Scottish and, and the Babbers. Stooky Sue and the Babbers. Um, I mean, the really puppeteers good. on this show are brilliant, aren't they? Because they they puppeteered well, they worked on the Stephen Moffat one. Did they? I don't know. Too Dark much. Dark Materials was that Stephen Moffat? His dark materials. His dark, was that Stephen Moffat? I don't think so. No. Right. Well, they worked on his dark materials. Right. Yeah. Because there's a lot of puppetry stuff in that. Um, yeah. No, but I mean they've worked in each of the episodes in these specials, haven't they? Because they did Jimbo in last week. Did they? Yeah. You, in, he's been held up like a crane by the head, and then yeah, they sort was of it puppet them? his legs. Well, there's puppeteering elements. I presume it's all the same people. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. 
Um, but I mean, those puppets are brilliant. I think they're so creepy. Spice up your life. That's been stuck in my head. No, it hasn't. I tell a lie. There's a new song that's been stuck in my head the rest of the week. No, 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 no. For no, the no, first, no. for the no. first half, it was spice up your life. For the second half, the goblin song. He's not a myth. He's an actual thing. The goblin king. Oh, little baby. Maybe we can touch on that later. Goodbye. Can we talk about unit? Yes, we can talk about unit. We'll go on. What Mel. have you got to say? Mel. Mel. Do you know um, much about Mel? No. I mean, like, have you watched some of her episodes at all? No. Nope. No. Um, there's not a lot you need to know about Mel, to be honest. <laughs> uh, people have been saying this. She, she, she was just... that. She's Mel. Mm. Sablon Glitz. Yeah. Um, whoever that is. It, she went off with it. him, adventuring. I think that's... And he died drinking a whiskey bottle. Yeah. No, he tripped over a whiskey bottle. Tri- tri- tripped over a bottle at 102 years old or something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, I think the interesting thing about Mel is that Mel is a character that doesn't actually have a character. She turns up in the middle of... No, she does now. ...of Trial. She, do- she does now. She turns up in the middle of the Trial series because um, Nicola Bryant left. Trial of a Time Trial of a Time Lord with Colin Baker, yeah. Sixth Doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So she just sort of turns up. So she doesn't really get, like, an introduction story. So... Yeah. She hasn't got any family connections. There's not a lot that you know about her other than she likes fitness. Does she? Yeah. Like, she got the character... She got the doctor on... What's the word? Uh, Not like a treadmill, but like a bike version of a treadmill. That's what killed the sixth doctor. (laughs) Exercise. Yeah, no, because he... he, the, The lore is he fell off his bike and hit his head on the console, isn't it? He, he wasn't riding the, ex- the bike at the time. He was trying to run away from the Rani. But there was an exercise bike. There in was that an exercise scene. bike. Yes. Yeah. Oh, because I always thought, did he fall off and hit his head? And <laughs> it's t- uh, regeneration. <laughs> I've not, t- not watched that, so he could. I'll take your word for it. No, he's been chased by the Rani. Um, it's it's weird because the, so the trial series happens. They go off on adventures, and then next thing you know. The TARDIS is being chased, and <coughs> Sylvester McCoy is now the Doctor. You know, we talked about it before that it's Sylvester McCoy in like a in, in a, a yellow wig and stuff like wig. that. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. I think the, I hope that Russell T Davis will add a little bit to Mel to make her a bit more interesting, interesting. as a character. Like I think yeah. that by going down the the orphan route, I hope that we begin to find more out about well, who she, she is. She's in Shooties season. Yes, that's what I mean. She's part of Unit. And speaking of unit, possible spin-off? Question mark, question mark, question possible, mark? Possible, possible. I think there's some elements that are quite With interesting. With Captain Tate slash David Tennant? I think you question could mark, basically bring mark, many, many ca- companions back, though. There's there's Martha, Martha. and, you know, everything please, like that can come please back. Please bring Martha back. With the unit. Maybe. With with unit as it now stands, it feels like it's basically offering jobs to just it, it's every companion. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, so I think that having something like that, I think nowadays, I think people expect a little bit more from their television than just sort of like a episodic, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. monster of the week. Um, yep. Although Doctor Speaking Who does monster, it all the time. We've got a new one, the Vlinks. The Vlink. Well, the, is the, Vlinks isn't really a monster. Not a monster, but he's. I just. I think I, I love it how we all just accepted the Vlinks. Well, that's the yeah. thing. I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I was. Um, I was looking at the cast list and I went. Nicholas Briggs, who does he play in the episode? There's no Daleks or Cybermen. He, he plays the, the Vlinks. Vlinks. He's yeah. the Vlinks, he's the voice, yeah. I was like, oh, but yeah. I, it's just, right, it's like, oh, there's the Vlinks. I was like, oh, the Vlinks. And that's it, we just accept it. Yeah, it's just in the. There's a cut during the dance scene. One of the like the final cuts before he disappears is a shot of the Vlinks. Like, <laughs> I was like, where the hell did he come from? It's a really cool well, the design, Vlinks though. The is coming back. I heard this as well. Upgraded. Upgraded, so to speak, yeah. Not a Cyberman. No, but I do. I do like the idea that there's this sort of like. It's just the Vlinks is controller. It's like character. Yeah, I mean, th- and this is my sort of issue with Unit at the minute is that I feel like that section was to go. We may do something with Unit, but we have puzzle pieces no, will, that we may that's that we want to scatter. They'll be doing something with Unit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh they kept like that set. I or do they take it down? Think or do we so. not know? I don't know. No, because they must have kept it. It was expensive. The doctor does stuff with unit. Yeah, I, it, you know, Phil Coulson was talking about how expensive the set was, just like the TARDIS. So I imagine we'll see it again. 
but at the same time, um, I do feel like there, there's a lot of sort of scattered pieces, and whether those pieces get picked up properly is one thing. Because if you look at Mel, having Mel in the episode did not really add much to it. No, it didn't. I suppose they needed but somebody else to help pull. There. But at the same time, it was nice to see no, just, her. Just Kate could have done it. Like anyone could yeah. have done it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, you know, the flinks was not something that was necessary to the episode, but it was a little inclusion, just sort of a little bit of world building, I guess. And you yeah. think, why are you dedicating time to stuff like this? And I, it's because they're trying to set something up, aren't they? Oh, I'm really trying to hold the yarn. <laughs> um. And of course, we've got yeah. Shirley Ann Bingham, our uh, back again, our unit scientific officer, who I'm beginning to warm to the more and more I see. I quite like her character. Dad, dad, she stood up. She stood up. She doesn't need the wheelchair. Honestly, <laughs> I saw. Being, I'm being Twitter. I'm I being saw Twitter. that on Twitter, which formerly made me laugh. As, uh, no, wait, X, formerly known as Twitter. Yeah, what made me laugh was that those sort of stupid remarks still happen. Like yeah. she stood up. She stood up. It's supposed to be like her worst. I think what's as we're talking about that scene, let's talk about the bit when you you know Kate t- turns off her whatever it was called her band. Zdex. Zdex. Thank you. That was it. Yeah. Well done. Um, I, oh, I'm such a fucking nerd. <laughs> I do like the sort of the first instinct, irrational fear of everything that comes from that, and sort of yeah. playing with the idea of. It's like your worst prejudices that come to life and that you would never say out loud or anything like that. Or, you know, you might think about for like half a second, but then your brain goes, but what about everything else that is different and opposes that view? Yeah. And I quite like... And the way that Kate has played it is was, was really, really good and interesting, I think. I'm going to turn my phone on silent. I'm so sorry. I can't actually hear it, by the way. That's all right, then. That was weird because I looked up and as you said, that's all right. Then I just read it on the t- on the notes page. <laughs> that's all right then. Yeah, because he goes, "That's all right then." Well, that's all right then. Yeah, um, during that puppet marionette scene, that was really cool. Very good. I I do um, like that we're we're getting a lot of. I like it. We, it was a kind of like, Muffet, like come on, they're all that they're all dead, not dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that, it it well, was funny. I yeah, I think it's been a kind of joke that lots of the companions of the doctor the lots of friends of the doctor die horribly but they're not quite then die not <laughs> yeah. yeah it became a bit of a like a running gag within the moffat area yeah. that he did he did it three times and then of course you've got, I, you've got the flux what i wouldn't know all that now. russell clearly loves the flux mm. it's a brilliant idea but there's a, there's a bigger thing that went on the series before what do you mean <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about you do know what I'm talking about. No, I it's mentioned in the previous I think, episode. I think we banned it at one stage. No, we're allowed to talk about it. Now. Oh, we can talk about it now. It's fine now. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The time is children. Yeah. Um, is that not bigger than the flux? I think so, but how do you address that? I like the idea that. I think Russell said, like, whatever you want to be true is true, which I personally, I kind of go, but that's not how canon uh, works. Well, um, that's all, that's, that, that means your head canon is canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but at the same time, I think Doctor Who has contradicted itself so many times, and there are big finished stories that contradict Sorry. the show itself. And if you try to make it out as a one linear story, it just wouldn't work. Um, no. And I don't really want to be sitting. You know, I don't want to one day be like, well, actually, these stories aren't actually canon because uh, the Doctor met. Mary Shelley is the thirteenth incarnation, not the yeah, eighth yeah, incarnation, yeah. and you just kind of yeah. keep go- you keep going around in that loop, and I think just things get complicated. But I like that we've got recognition of those of of the past in that respect because with these specials we're not getting much in Speaking terms of about other stuff. Recognition of the past. Hmm. Do you think it was a good sixtieth anniversary? That's exactly what I was about to go into. Bloody hell, we Bloody are hell. on fire yeah. today. Um, I mean, I think for my childhood of Doctor Who, yes, because our stuff was the Doctor and Donna. Um, I mean, it would have been nice to see a few other aspects of, you know, 
David Tennant's mm-hmm. time or even Matt Smith's time popping up, but you get little references to it. And I think when you're trying to sort of soft launch the show, I think adding in more doctors, more companions will just alienate people. That's why I'm kind of surprised uh, yeah, but, that things like Mel and things like that I feel like this added. should have been the big... The big... Because obviously... The end. Shooty is the, shooty is the soft launch of the show. Yeah, yeah. This should have been the big... 60th anniversary. Mm. Um, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it up until a certain part, but we'll talk about that later. Yes. Um, I enjoyed all of all of the three specials up until a certain part, but it wasn't a 60th anniversary. It was just like here are your three specials. Mm. It was a bit like, and it was like the three specials that Tennant got in 2009. Because and it's just it was just like that. There was no, nothing anniversary about it. I think you kind of get a few anniversary elements in the fact that you're bringing back an old yeah, doctor. So you've got Mel. Yeah. You've brought back Tennant. You've brought back Donna. You've brought back the toy maker. Mm-hmm. But what what's worth remembering is it wasn't that a celebration doctor, though. Power it the wasn't a celebration. Power of the Do- it already did it. Power of the Doctor kind of took its wind, I think, a little bit. Where I think if Russell went yeah. and sat down and went, I'm going to write the 60th and I'm going to do a big multi Doctor story, and then you go, Oh, hang on, Chibnall just did that with Power of the Doctor. And he didn't really, though, did he? No, but he, he had them all in it, and I think it would kind of cheapen mm. their appearances if, Oh, look, it's Peter Davison again. But like there. Well, then don't give us Peter Davison, give us Matt fucking Smith. But he's he busy. Said, I don't care i don't care if he's doing house of the dragon he said i am free and willing to come back several times Mm. it's just a bit of a to him i do like like he's there saying i'll come back i'll do it i'd love to do it again Mm. i I missed i missed i missed being the i missed playing the doctor favorite character i've ever played Mm. the 60th anniversary is here and you don't bring him back for 10 minutes i'm not this isn't it, it me was a surprise, down, yes, that is true. This isn't me putting down Shooty's appearance. I, I was a big fan of Shooty's appearance. The the um the the activity that sounds weird. The activities that went on when Shooty appeared wasn't a fan of, but Shooty being in the episode, big fan. But then why can't we have you've got the next, so why can't we have a previous previous? Because it it Do you know what I mean? I I think this always goes down to an expectations thing because after the 50th, we were like, oh, God, that we had three doctors. I mean, they were all 13 at one stage. Next year, like the next te- decade is going to be amazing. And then obviously it just didn't work out like that with COVID and stuff like that, where the show nearly ended last year. That nearly was it. And the fact that it came back. And, and I feel like instead of doing that big fanfare of here's all the doctors, here's... Mel, you know, his 17 companions. Do it before companions. you soft reboot the show. Can you honestly see Matt Smith coming back in this soft reboot? I can't. I I hope that... The, Can you see happens. a previous Doctor returning when Disney has not taken the reign, but it, it starts di- becoming a Disney show? I'd, I'd hope so in some no. form, yeah. I think you will. I don't see why it yeah, won't. We'll see Tennant. We will see the 14th Doctor, yeah. probably. I th- I think it will. I, d- I mean, Disney don't have any creative control over Doctor Who. They do. They don't. They have creative control. They don't. They've put the money in. That's it. Yeah. So they can also have a say. They might have, they might have a, a vote, but they don't necessarily have a say. Yeah. I I just don't. I would be I would be surprised if Russell was going. I feel like with with the specials that he's done so far, with these three episodes, he's kind yeah. of gone, I want to change what... I want to sort of bring people back into the show with these three episodes, and I want to sort of set up what I think my next era is going to be in terms of its tone. And my I think that... that, era, that have- David Tennant and Catherine Tate on speed dial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just in case. Um, I th- as in, I just think in it, case the ratings drop again. By tone, I mean like the sort of state of play, 
um, idea and the sort of more whimsical sort of stuff he seems to be going for with with the toy maker. Yeah. The, yeah. So, Will, after briefly mentioning the dance scene, do you want to talk about the big thing that you want to talk about, the bioregeneration? Fucking ass. I have a different Why? perspective. Why? But I'll let you go first. So, I mean, I just don't understand it. It's just, I'm all for, you could have had, Russell being like, I want the new and old on screen together. All for that. You could have mm. done it. Brilliant. But then have 14 go at the end. Because, and do you know what it is? Mm. Right. Why did the face come back? Why did that face come back, Dan? Oh, um, yeah. Now, before I talk about why, why I actually that, like no, the idea, no, no. I probably should why say that there are stuff back? I don't like about it, which I shall talk about in time. But the face coming back, uh, to answer your question, I think yes. it's it came back, in my yes. mind, yes, because of the whole state of play thing. What state of play? Where everything's sort of out of tilter let i don't really like i don't like the idea that the doctor decided to revisit his old face and find his old friend because he needed therapy and needed to stop because if he wants therapy why didn't he go to matt smith when he went to you know amy ponds for for could, um yeah, fucking it's, it's, it's the same why didn't he go though. to 12 with river why didn't he do you can't give me that Okay, but that's what they use in the episode isn't it but in my mind i think of it more like the doctors run himself thin where He's like all of that sort of heartbreak, all of that but stress no, has gone and uh, sort of I worn take... him down, and that's why he's degenerated. And but it doesn't but, explain the, it doesn't explain the clothes but, and stuff like that, does it? But but none of that was even. If I showed you mm. Wild Blue Yonder, yeah, and the Star Beast, could you look at me and go, "Oh, that Doctor needs a break. He's getting a bit tired." Fair enough. Yes. No. I think no. It's in there though, isn't it? There's the bit when he no, loses it, his it, mind at a, at a, at a when wall. When he gets a little bit angry at a great on Wild Blue Yonder. Mm. Yes. But that's because he brought back the flux. That's not because he's all tired. If he's just there, like I've been doing this for so long, I just don't know. If there's something like that's, that. That is that. That is literally the plot. But, when does it show he's that? Trying to live with himself after the devastation when he's caused. When does it show that? During the scene when they're talking about the flux. No, yeah. You just denied my evidence. You like that? No, 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 no. You talk about the flux, yeah. right? Wait, no, when it, no, he doesn't. He goes, he kicks it and goes, ah, no, uh, it's good, in, and goes when, away. When Donna's talking to him about the flux, right, and he goes, um, how can I look back on the devastation that I've caused or something like that? It wasn't you. I know. Yeah, I know. But but how, but, but, how but he look could have looked back on the time war. He could have looked back on. Yeah. You can't know. I don't believe that this I, doctor was tired. I this think doctor, that it would have worked. I don't better. believe this doctor needed a break. I don't believe this doctor needed therapy. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think it could have done with it being set up from the very start, like Jodie's run, that mm-hmm. sort of stuff. That's if, that, if that's what you mean, then that's fair enough. Yeah, but I think if you take into consideration like all of the like the companions and stuff like that that have died, and you think. Why can't the doctor just rest? So maybe actually every, this would have been better. Every with single doctor goes through the same thing. Mm. 13 became 12 after. Well, had Bill. So in 12 became 13. How, 12 became 13. Yeah. After he just spent 24 years with his wife, mm. knowing the next time he sees her, she's dead. It's already happened for him. But he yeah. then. Bill gets turned into a Cyberman. Mm. After 11 to 12, Pandorica, he restarts the universe and it's all because of him. Why now is the Doctor showing that just just in this last couple of minutes of the giggle that he's tired and needs a break? I'm not saying Jodie should have been doing it. it. I'm saying if, if this if this was the reason... Of the bi regeneration, mm. you should have shown more points during the first two that he is that he is tired and does need a break, and it's why is it always down to him? And it's go a bit 
you know, why is it always me? Like, maybe go, when he says, why does it have to be this? Or no, uh, what does he Donna. say before he knocks his that's be- on the on the glass? That's, that, that, why yeah, does it have to be this? That's that's from the Star Beast. I got me I got me and lines because of up. Donna. It is there. I just don't think that it was set goes, up particularly ah! well, like you say, uh, in, in um, Wild Blue Yonder. But that's because of the flux. But that I, doesn't show to me that this doctor is tight. It shows me that this doctor's got a lot going on in his head. But the doctor I'll has do. always the doctor has always Correct. had a lot yeah, going yeah. on in his head. So why can't so why, why can't the doctor now? Decide... Why now has it got way too much that he needs to split himself off? Because it's the plot. I... <laughs> but yes, yes, I'm I'm fine with that being the plot. Yeah. But you should have made that a lot more why, obvious. Why is it decided that after losing Yaz and all of that that happens in Power of the Doctor, the doc the Doctor then just has this sort of crisis in him, in himself? Yes, but the, I don't but think that he, that's Russell's he, fault or the fault of the giggle. Is that yeah, it's it, is, a bit weird. it is Russell's fault? He kind of Russell pulls writing, he pulls Russell into sort of everything writing, that's happened rather Russell, than just the last five minutes. Russell, Russell is writing them free specials. If I had shown you all of them specials mm. and stopped just after the by regeneration and and went, why has that happened then? You're gonna go. We all went toy maker, oh, didn't we? Toy maker. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go. Oh, oh, oh you can just tell he just he's just so tired and he's just oh he just it's too much for him. There's none of that. I, I Tenant. Has a not and this is nothing against Tennant, but he's playing it like ten, mm. I um, which is what he was. I don't like the I don't like the out. idea that the Doctor is so, yeah I don't like the idea that the Doctor is like worn out to be honest. I like the idea more that after everything that the Doctor's that, been through, this is his reward. Reason. This is how his he he gets to sort of forgive himself and feel like he doesn't need to have the entire weight of the world on his shoulders. At then that time, show us. That's then that's exactly what happens in the episode. I don't know how you can in, show that in the episode. Yes, pre up building. Up okay, to yeah, the yeah, episode. He had three episodes, and I I kind of want. Yes, I, I know what you mean. It, it, he with, had three episodes, but there was yeah. no point in start only in Wild Blue Yonder mm. was there that little bit about the flux. There was no point in Star Beast where he's like, oh we. Oh, you know, it's getting a lot for him now. It's, he's, he's, he's struggling a bit. And you're having to think. You're trying to think of a single line that is I'm trying is to think said. it's a star base, to be honest. And I'll tell you what, you can't. No. Because there isn't. Okay. If you're making this the reason... But show us! I, okay, but that's that's the reason that that gives you, gives you which I think, it, uh, yeah, is quite weak. But then I think in my head... There's the whole sort of state of play thing at hand, which is what Russell kind of introduces within these three specials. Will you, right? will you just f- stop saying state of play? That's what Shooter just... calls it, doesn't he? When he when he spits the TARDIS, Sh- state of play. I think that there's but this it, kind of it's like it's not to do with the toy maker. It's it's movable, but it's not to do with the toy maker. No, no. But with with presences like the toy maker coming. I think that the sort of the by regeneration has nothing to do with the toy maker. No, the only thing that has to do with the toy maker is the two Tardises. The reason of the by regeneration, well, no, tech shot with a laser, but the actual by regeneration and the splitting of the Doctors has nothing to do. With I, th- the toy I maker. think it's to do with so state of play means nothing. I think it's to do with the rules have now changed. And that's what I think it is. I think that the rules are, have changed. As in the you, rules you, you in terms to, of like you need the, the, the world episode. has changed where now you've got characters like the toy maker who is something that Doctor Who wouldn't really attach itself to because it's like fighting a god. The legions and stuff like that are coming. Those gods, we'll call them, are coming. And yes. I quite like the idea that for that moment anyway, I do not want to see the bioregeneration again. I think seeing the bioregeneration again would be a mistake, right? I do not want to see anything like this again. I want back to normal regenerations because you lose the finality. Would you have preferred it more if there was a normal regeneration? If you still got to see Shooty and David Tennant together, then yes. Yeah. If you still if, got to do all that, then yes. You know, the one who waits, because when he first, on the initial watch, and he goes, no, I didn't face the one who waits... We all, uh, me and James went, shooty, 
You know, the one who's really? waiting to become oh, no, the doctor. It's a in my head. The one who waits is somebody waiting to uh, complete an evil game or something like that. Okay, fine. But you could have played it off a... Sh- so if if the toy maker split in them going, now I've, do- I've given you this because you've got this... Da, 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 da. Give him an evil monologue. Mm. And then he goes, this is your true self and splits them off. And then I've had this... I'm not going to rewrite the show. But there's two of them now, right? It's just in five in your hands, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You there's had, there's, fi- two, there's doc- two of them sorry, now. There's two doctors <laughs> yeah, yeah. now, right? Yeah. Toymaker and 14 play a game. 14 loses the game. 14 has gone. 15 and Toymaker plays the game. 15 wins. I think we talked about that last time, didn't we? Yeah, that, that when we were making a few predictions last time that we could do... There could be like something that the fourteenth Doctor does that sort of sets in motion for then the fifteenth to take over and to to win it. Yeah, I like. I, I, I prefer been, that to be honest. I'm fine with a bi- not the bio generation. I'm fine with the two Doctors on screen. Mm. I'd be fine with the bio generation if it was a thing to do with the toy maker. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But it's it, it's, I, it's I, the I, reasoning. I'm, I've got my it's reasoning, the reasoning behind different. Yeah. it that doesn't yeah, yeah. make sense. Mm. Yeah. I think it's too ominous. I see what you mean. Yeah, it is too ominous. It's too, like, that's kind of what's going on, but we're not going to confirm like, what's going on. But in my, head, in my head, I think it's the whole universe, is, the world has changed. Um, so when, actually, not, with the actual bi-generation, then... Your head is not canon. What is canon is the Doctor Russell said it was. Russell said it's it. whatever you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> right, Russell is just trying to please everyone. Yeah, the yeah, actual so. canon yeah. of this show is that we're Time Lords, we do therapy out of order, or, or what it was, rehab out of order. Mm. Because this doctor was a little bit too tired and needed a break. Because there's the bloody... Because the doctor hasn't stopped since he left Gallifrey as the Didn't first incarnation. That Yes, I get that. When does it, At but what sh- point does he but, stop then? Does he just but, keep going? But show us. Show us that that is getting a lot. That the doctor is struggling. They don't, Daniel. They don't show. Yeah, they don't show it. But then they talk about Amy, Amy and Clara and Bill. They talk about yeah. those elements. What happened? And the in doctor the show. just continues when to is, keep going. Wh- right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but after. Yeah, they talk about what happened in the show, but they don't then mention how that's actually affected the doctor. Mentally, you can see it. He tries to raise performance, but that they get to carry on living, but it has to take a mental toll. You can see in his face that the toll that it's taken. Right, you've given one example, ish, of what from three specials. Yeah, of the reason why the, this doctor's tired. Well, I mean, there's the time war. You've watched all of it. The doctor didn't stop. The time war. No, the doctor didn't stop. But when's that affected the doctor in the past? When he tells a Dalek to so kill if, itself, if this if this is going to be the reason why, and they've brought back this face mm. for shits and gigs, shits and gigs, yeah, yeah. It's called the giggles, so that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, they've brought back this face because, let's be real, we need to save Doctor Who. Yeah. Show us that this fourteenth Doctor is tired has got way too much on I, the thought that i'm not bothered about previous doctors that they're what they faced mm. show us that this 14th doctor the new doctor has is has taken that all too much and it's weighing him down and he breaks down and breaks down and no i don't want a doctor on the floor crying all episode because of the amount of people that he's known is now dead but when people be like, Doctor, what can we do? Or Doctor, 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 what we need to do this like. But I don't know. Why is it always on me? Everything you always ask is on me, me. It's always me, me, me. Just show yeah. us that this is way too much for the Doctor. That he needs a break. Because that is he, ne- he never do it. He'd never do it himself, though, would he? He's too proud. But there are the elements of that within He may be it, too proud. They're, they're slightly as more a character. Yeah. But as a viewer... Mm. Because Donna notices the difference between the tenth Doctor and this Doctor, you see. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. It's it's all good. Donna notes in it, but the viewers don't. No, 
Yes. Okay. The viewers don't. If that's how you feel. It's in there, universe. But... Yeah. In universe. Fine. Viewer wise, we didn't. I could not if, have given you a reason if, why this one would regenerate. If you're new, if you're new to Doctor Who or haven't watched for many years, they recap mm-hmm. the stuff that's happened, but you don't feel like the Doctor has been put through his paces enough where he is at breaking point, where everything has broken want, down. I'm not saying I want flashbacks every yeah. five minutes to talk about, oh, look at this bad thing that happened, but show us, if you're a new viewer, can you watch the Wild Blue Yonder or Star Beast and go, this doctor need this doctor's got a lot on its plate. No, you can't. No. You see it as David Tennant's back as the doctor. Would you want to see the doctor at breaking point? Because they wouldn't be very fun adventures. If this is the reason of the bi regeneration. Mm. Yes. Okay. If this is the reason why you have brought a brand new thing into the series and completely changed the show's mm. history forever and have now implied it happened to previous doctors as well yeah, russell yeah, yeah, yeah. yes I, I, the, the other thing i have about the bio generation because i feel like we're going to go around in circles is with that element of there being different incarnations is it feels more like a plot device so that russell can bring in other doctors now it's a disney easier. thing it's going to get a lot bigger and people yeah. might want to return more yeah 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 because it means he can bring matt smith in without being tied down to his companions and explain away the aging and stuff like that quite easily but it's a bit complex tales of the tardis yeah. explain that aging they a do. lot better they do i think they do it is, it, it, yeah i think they do the the explaining the of the aging bit, yeah. in tales of the tardis there, there are some timelines where i regenerate and there are some timelines where i just get old fine I don't need this by regeneration. So uh, you'd much rather they did a kind of timeline thing. I see what you mean. Yeah. Because the show is timey wimey. Mm. Now, as I said earlier, I do not want to see another by generation though. Like if this is the standard, no. I do not want there to continue to be standards uh, for, for, for the doctor to split in two constantly. Um, I think it does ask a lot of questions like, what happens when and this you know doctor it's, regenerates? The, the, the it's too it's up to itself. Yeah, well, the yeah. actual bi regeneration itself, I'm fine mm. with. It was the reasoning for it. Yeah, yeah. If it if it had been a toy maker thing, or if again the doctor had shown that he was weighed down, it was all too much. I'd have been fine with it. Is the fact that it was so out of the blue that this is why? It's only after it happened you can finally see Tennant's face, be like, God, yeah, you're right. There was. It's only after we've had that explained to us by Donna I think it's, and I think it's because the opportunity's there, but Donna does notice it in in episode two at least. The, yeah, I mean, those I, I things guess there's happened. bits going, I'm fine, and stuff like that, yeah. but that's just the Doctor. The Doctor has always been like that. Mm. So why can't the Doctor... So I don't see an issue with the Doctor then just stopping and saying, look, I can't stop because who's going to do it? I can't stop because I'm going to be split from the TARDIS. When that opportunity then arises, which I think is a little bit, like, convenient, but because the opportunity has arised, he can go off. Have it Have it in an episode earlier. Have it a little bit... Show things throughout the specials that this Doctor does want to stop but can't because he feels like I it's his duty to carry on. I think that's been a resting thing with the Doctor, on. though, for a long time. It's sort of part of his character. Like, Capaldi was like, do I have to keep going? And they were like, yeah, you've got to keep going. I think the right, issue and then, is and that... And 13 was this happy-go-lucky, happy-go-lucky... That 13 was not it. like that. And if... i tell you yeah. what, if it went from Capaldi straight to 14... It would, have, it would have worked it. a lot better, but because, it would work, it would because have Jody was but so... the fact that you've then had this... Big go lucky. All yeah. right, fam. Wait, 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 wait. That has ruined it. Not ruined. It's ruined the reasoning. Mm. And if you want, I, I feel like I wouldn't be so. It doesn't make sense. The doctor's fine. But yeah, the it, doctor's fine. It, it and then feels... you've in this reason that he's tired, but yeah. you've not shown us that the doctor's tired. It's a plot that's been brought up a few times, hasn't it? Because like the first Doctor sort of questioned whether he'd regenerate in Twice Upon a Time, and then the, obviously the twelfth Doctor did it. And then the tenth doctor did it, and then for them to actually follow through on, well, I'm not going to properly regenerate, then am I? Um, you know, to sort of to sort of give up, and for that to actually be done, I think the things I know what it is. What's that? I, as a viewer, thought the doctor 
is enjoying being this person again. Mm. Yeah. There was no part of me like this doctor would happily be this doctor for ages mm. and carry on being the doctor, not retired in a garden with Wilf shooting moles. You know, it's they've got force fields, they're alright. Yeah, the force fields are alright, yeah. But that's what I mean. This doc, this doctor has not shown us that he's tired. I I think there's more elements that the doctor's grown as a more emotional yeah, we're person basing the than the doctor uh, as in one person. Okay. But we are basing it as this doctor has mm-hmm. not shown us. Yes. I think there needs to be there needed to be a couple of moments in the previous episodes where we were seeing how much how much this doctor just does does want to stop but can't because i get donna donna in the first one i get maybe his face come back because he wants a family Mm. doctor's had family many a times not being funny love but you're nothing special (laughs) do you know what i mean right the doctor's had doctor's been humany woomany when he cries at christmas with amy because he sits down and goes, this is what I'm missing. This is... So why... It just doesn't make sense. Okay. I think I think the reasoning to you does not work. That's the issue that you don't have with it. Yeah, it's the reasoning. Yeah. And In your I just head, so much work. prefer to regenerate... In my head. No. In your head. Because we've just talked about just... Donna noticing the difference in the Doctor and stuff like that. I would have just so much preferred a regeneration, to be honest. As I was very excited during the bi-regeneration, then we, we then had the actual end to the story of the Giggle and the demise of the Toy Maker. So, we did. We shall did. I go first while you're playing with your uh, microphone? Um, I think I'm back up and running. Okay, well, I'm still going to go first. wasn't giving you an option. Um, so the, they right. they play a game of catch, and for me, I think the the, the oh, catch was probably oh, oh, the we'll weakest bit of the episode. In the fact that I like, I don't mind it now, because I do. But I think when I first watched it, I went, "Is it just a miss? Is it just that the toy maker, the guy that you've been setting up as being this really omnipotent being, gets defeated by um, losing a losing a game of, of catch?" Um, I think only Doctor Who could do it. And that's why I don't mind it. But I think when you put it in that context, it feels a bit weak. But they always will do because the toy maker has been set up too well. Have been so much better. It, I, you know, a game of cards. I think would have been slightly. I think. I think a lot of it is that that catch bit feels quite underdeveloped in the fact that even in the script it just said catch, 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 and you can kind of. It feels disjointed. It looks like a montage of them catching balls but there's no like competition between the two so you kind of watch mm-hmm. them catch the ball from different angles and different like extravagant poses like at one point shooter catches the ball like this and does that and uh like he runs yeah. up a wall at one right, stage uh, yeah, it, it, yeah it's uh, just no there was no sense of actual competition mm. because there was never any long shots of them actually throwing the ball yeah. That's probably because they can't catch the ball. No, I like don't David think they could. admitted, he, <laughs> he couldn't catch the ball. But it, there's, it's just it's mid shot, mid shot, mid shot, mid shot, mid shot of them it's catching too quick the ball, throwing the ball. You can't track the ball. There's nothing. Not. There's no actual throwing out of a long shot, and then someone diving. Like if we'd seen maybe more of the actual ball throwing mm. instead of the, as you say in the script, catch, 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 catch. Yeah. Then it may be maybe could have been a bit better because i think if we'd actually seen the sense of urgency yeah. with the with the catching of with the throwing of the ball because it's not just catch it's it's you've got to try and think of ways you can throw the ball to keep it do you know what i mean yeah i think like they catch yeah. it in great ways but it's the throwing that's also equally as important as the catching because mm. you're trying to outwit them so like i think we, we could have seen shooty like pretending to throw one way and then quickly flicking the other way yeah yeah like showing dr wit just like how the first doctor outwitted mm. the the toy maker yeah not it for a ball it, a bit it too does hard. feel like even though there's two of them this time that now they're playing uh, a game with the toy they're maker play- and all of that makes sense they're that they're pl- playing a game with the toy maker yeah. that one person could have played yeah yeah, yeah. You, if you've got two, give it a game that needs 
two of you. I think. Well, I mean, the thing makes sense. Like Piggy that they in lost. The middle. That the toy maker loses the that. game. But I think it's too like for for the doctor to be like, I challenge you to a game. Suggest that he has a plan, and the plan is we're going to play catch, and we don't know if we're going to win it. But like, we're not actually very good at catching. But we're going to kind of hope that we win, and that the, he misses the ball at one stage. Yeah, and like, the doctor's clearly struggling mm. to catch the ball at some points. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I quite... Well, 14 is. I like it in a sort of whimsical nature. I don't think that if you take it... it, I don't think it was the best execution of shooting it, though. Because, like you say, some sort of tricks of trying to, like, pretend to throw it one way and throw it the other and that kind of stuff would have have been nice. I think it was just too... It was too catchy. The script left it too open where, really, there should have been a proper thought process of how do we play this game is this game of catch going to work on camera and feel like you're sort of watching two battles of 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 intellect and no it just felt like they yeah. were catching until no, one of them dropped it catch, ch- catching the ball and rolling on the floor mm. and catching the ball in cool ways and for me it's edited so poorly it, it's yeah it's catch 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 it is catch 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 you, can't you don't see, see the ball do a lot of the time. Where the ball's coming mm. from. The, you, like, there's that one shot of the ball travelling, the CG ball travelling. And that's only because that's the one that he misses. Mm. Do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. We should have had more of that sped up and had an actual game of cat. Yeah, yeah. I I see what you mean there. Because there's no moments where you feel like there's a, it's possession, where you go like, oh, the toy maker has the ball. Who's gonna? Who's he going to like throw it at? Um, you know, wh- where's it going to no. go? Are they going to be able to catch it? Is he going to try and play a trick on them? And no, it's just going to like... That there's the bit when they throw it between each other and the shooty has got his hand like up here and he goes like that and brings it down and you just go, I don't know if he's got the ball or not. I presume he has. But... Yeah. The CG ball. But yeah, it's, it's sort of like a strange, strange thing. So, finally, then, Shooty, our final, or our brand new Doctor, then. What do you think of Shooty in this episode? Love him. I think he's great. He's so gorgeous. He's got great legs. He's I wish I had his so legs. Fit. I'll tell you that. He's so fit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Me and James literally looked at him and went, we looked at each other and went, he's so fit. <laughs> Um, I, I, yeah, I think he's got such charisma that he's going to be so good as the Doctor. Charisma? You sound like every fucking person on Twitter. He's just got a presence, I think. Twitter. There's something about him that makes him feel like the Doctor. Like, when he, as soon as he appeared, I went, oh, yeah. Like, his first few lines, I was like, this guy is the Doctor. Yeah. And that's something quite difficult to pin down, I think. Here's another question. Mm. By generation, I'm going. Well, we're going. We're going back to it. We're going back to it. I'll keep calm with this time. <laughs> Doctor splits. Yes. He goes. Ah ha ha ha! Can someone tell me what the hell is going on here? Now, you, you were the fourteenth Doctor. You know what's going on here. Good point. Why is that? Why didn't? Uh, why that, I didn't right? think about that. Yeah. Well, you know what was going on. You are here because he would have lived it. Yes. I mean, he obviously, because he might not have lived the actual bit because, you know, that's like a timeline thing where it's time's moving still because it wouldn't have actually happened to him yet. But it did. It's happening at the same time. At that same point. It's not like you could be like, oh, this is the doctor out of out of time. That is mm. the, that doctor's first appearance straight from that moment. So the doctor knows what's going on. Mm. But that also depends on whether you think that David Tennant's. 14th doctor when he dies of presumably old age will die and sort of disappear and become shooty i think because obviously there's a whole thing of Hmm. this is the 14th doctor's regeneration at the end of of what would be his life just dragged forward yeah um yeah what's gonna happen to 14 See, it, it, is this what you mean by sort of questions? You've got a lot of questions and a lot of things that need answering. Do you know what this sounds a little bit like? What? You know when people change change things about the Doctor's, about who the Doctor is and the Doctor's past and yeah. don't explain it properly. Yeah, like the TV movie. Hmm, have, have we have we not 
No. Have we not had nope. a recent example of a big change to the Doctor's past that to, to this day still fully isn't explained? The Doctor's half human. Mm. The Doctor is half human. There's On his mother's thing side. Thing that the, that the Doctor's not Doctor's not from Gallifrey. No, that that is mentioned. They haven't, you know. But it's I like that it's a bit on, explained. On no, I don't know. so there's a common theme here but, about big changes to the Doctor and the Doctor's past that just leave questions open. And if you're gonna make a big change to the Doctor's past, mm-hmm. answer the fucking questions. Yes, that is that is true. That is true. It's all good shoot you going, oh, it was a myth, but it's true. It's not a myth. It, it, never, it should be a myth. Heard of it. We've never heard of it before. No, that's, that's all right that we've never heard of it before. Um, There's only one thing that could pull back by regeneration as a theory, as a, as a thing. Not the current reason, not mm. the current one, but as a thing. Saw a comment on TikTok. Um, what if the master is the by regeneration of the doctor? I don't want because... to. I don't. I don't want to see by generation again. I don't want. No. I don't no, want no, it to no, be no, like. No. 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 I don't think we'll see it yeah. again. But what if the master is a by regeneration of one of the timeless doctors? Does, does the fourteenth doctor have several different? Um, no, because they uh, could be. Uh, but because because they always said they were very close when they were young. Yeah, but it would be they himself. Were, they would like. They were so. Because, because maybe they are a bi generation of whoever. They the evil side of the doctor split off i.e. Valyard mm-hmm. and the doctor went forward. So, so you you you're yeah, actually saying way... that the master is just the Valyard now. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, as it's it's happened multiple times, Jane, um, Dan. So I'm James. so sorry. Sorry, James. I'm not called you my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's happened multiple. It's happened multiple times, Dan. Mm. According to Russell. Now, the, if if this is the way you're explaining it, you know you've got the Doctor's bad side that he needs to get out, but the the nice new Doctor wants to carry mm. on. I could get that, you know, if fourteen's the depressed doctor and you know the master was evil and the doctor was good and the doctor had a lot of evil going on, so when he got regenerated, the evil bit pushed out and become its own person. I could get that, but just the reason of this one just didn't just doesn't make sense. No. I think we're going to agree to disagree on this. I mean, I agree with you that it doesn't make sense, but I like it more than you do. That's the difference. So, I just want just 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 stop. Just I get you've got to make the show new and interesting, yeah, yeah. but just stop playing with the fundamentals of the Doctor. The Doctor is from Gallifrey. The Doctor is a Time Lord. The Doctor can regenerate. That's they're they're just the rules. I of the love doctor. how you just smacked your mic with your fingers as you did that. I know. <laughs> I'll Give leave that, that in. again. <laughs> Give me to that again. No. So I don't smack my mic. No, no. I think it helps your point. No, but <laughs> do you know what I mean? That that's they are they're base rules. You wouldn't go to Spider Man and go. Now, actually, Spider Man can turn other people into Spider Man if he bites them as well. Because um, that's not... Um, although he can kill Mary Jane with his spider spunk. With his spider spunk. <laughs> yeah. 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 But... I forgot about that. Actual, actual character. The character of Spider-Man. You won't go... Actually, do you know, the Spider-Man can also bite other people and turn them into mm. Spider-Man as well. You wouldn't... You can't... You wouldn't just change the past of an iconic character. There are the rules of the Doctor. He's Gallifreyan. He's a Time Lord. He can regenerate changes his face all four of them have now changed Mm. i think yeah they've changed those things and i think there's going to be some interesting opportunities developing about the bio generation and what that might entail i i I feel like we need more to know like i feel like we need more to go on and i feel like russell has a plan for all of this and i trust him to have a plan more than bloody chibnall so i feel like 
we either get more explanations come out, more theories come out. You know, we don't actually know what the 14th Doctor is going to become, whether he becomes the creator. That's like a big theory at the minute. No. But I personally like the idea that he becomes the, the 15th. Towards the end. But anyway, no. we were talking about Shooty. It, he ends the episode in his TARDIS, looking very cool. Do you know what? Really, away. One, I wanted to see him in his costume. <sighs> nah, I'll wait till Christmas for that. No, I know we wait. I know we wait until Christmas for it. Mm. But you know when he goes into his TARDIS, yeah. he could have, and the lights change to the outside. He could have ran back out and go, "What do you think?" or just something like that. It would have been nice to have him in costume when he flew off. So that, so that it goes. Are you telling me we're gonna start Church of Ruby Road whilst he's in his pants? No, he's gonna have his costume then. No, he's not. He's going to be in a skirt. You just want him to be dancing in pants. prison. He's going to be dancing in Cardiff prison. <laughs> so, so the doctor's been to prison. <laughs> now Dan doesn't know what prison I did, is. It's, it's a nightclub no... in Cardiff. I've seen it. Not just in Cardiff. It's a chain of nightclubs. There's night not one clubs. here, is that? But the, 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 there's not. Yeah. Leeds is our closest one. Yeah. But prison, the doctor's been to prison. It's like sending the doctor to Pop World. <laughs> have you got one of them? Um, <laughs> you have got one of them now, yeah. Um, I say, so then Christmas Day, Will, this year. Can we talk about New Sonic? You have to. I know you don't like it. I'm not and you do. particularly keen on it. I like it to be a Sonic. I don't think it looks like a Sonic. But if you're going to shake things up, you might as well shake up the Sonic as well. Well, this is it. You know, if the Doctor had handed in the Sonic going, oh, you're going to be me, you might as well have this. Could have worked. I, I don't know if I... I think that Shooter needed his own Sonic, that's for sure. Question. What? I get it's a toy. Why does that... Why why is there colour changeable options on the toy? I thought this the other day. I have no idea at all. No idea. Different sounds for the yellow. Yeah, yeah. It's Matt Smith's sound for the green. Yep. No idea. You bait and switch. I don't know. It's, it's not a bait and switch. It's like, no, as in like give us the to bait us when we got the toy going. Oh look, it's like for different doctors. <laughs> and then it was. It never happened. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Like they could have, if they want, either they should have given Shooty David's and made the color yellow. That would have worked, but he's got a new one. I'm not. I feel like... It, I don't like the Sky Remote. It looks like he has got, like... I called it the... Um, it looks like one of those cow pole things. The things you take cow pole well, from. The spoons. The spoons of the cow pole, yeah. Um, I think... <coughs> we'll see what it looks like in action and what it can do. But, yeah, I'm not particularly keen on it. What about the Goblin song, Will? I love the Goblins. I think the Goblins it's are cool. Stuck in my the song the is not bad, but I was... Days. I needed to show Becky, my sister, it. And she kind of sat there like... What the heck? you like this? This is the kind of thing you like. Um, Shall we see where it is on if it's in the charts? I don't think it'll be out yet, but yeah, you can do. Um, but uh, yeah, I I'm not a fan of the Goblin song as a whole, because not because of the song's bad. The song's fine, but the fact that we're gonna start off the new Doctor's era with trying to put a crappy Goblin song on number one about eating babies. I just think that's a bit weird. Don't you? For Christmas number one. Mm. Baby eating song. So, oh, it is a banger though. It's stuck in my head. I do, I do like the idea. I, I like the idea that we have singing goblins. And I'm very, very looking forward to, very much looking forward to Christmas and seeing the episode. It, I, I think that this doctor started out as being very like, happy doctor and i want to see what's going to start like what what his era is going to bring in the fact that like who's his companion what's his what's this sort of baby thing does he have involvement in her parentage and stuff like that i'd like to know and i'm looking forward to seeing that on christmas day so will the goblin song where is it is it on the charts yet it's the the official charts are not out i didn't i said they weren't so, um, is there anything else you'd like to talk about, Will, or are we done? Something dropped on the helipad and somebody picked it up. Okay, you want to talk about the master? I don't. I don't want to theorize about who picked it up. I think likelihood is Jinx Monsoon. 
No. Maybe River Song. No. But it it literally could just be a lady because in End of Time when they pulled it last, I do think it's 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 like we're doing this again, but with a tooth. When do you think we're getting the master? I don't know. I think it might be a seed that he's laid out and just hasn't done anything with yet. Who would you like to see play the master? I'd love to see Demand back. I don't think it's going to happen. But I'm no, not. I'm not no, too no, fussed no, about no, who no, plays no. the master. New master. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too fat fussed. To be honest, I'm not. Um, but it, this could Dr. happen Huma. many years in advance. This may just be the way that Russell has scripted in f- bringing the master back for a, a series he might not himself write. You know. It's like the boss thing. It's all kind of open. There's a lot of open elements that are exciting, but will they actually come to something next year? Maybe not. They could be years down in down the line. Yeah. I, I do think it's a bit lazy that he's done it twice. But anyway, that's it, I think. We've got the legions. The legions are coming, Will. The legions are coming. legions are coming. Whoever they may be. Whatever they may be. But we shall find oh. out for too long. I think that's it for the giggle episode then. Will's about to fall asleep. He's ready for bed, poor guy. I'm ready to go. I need to do some laundry, actually. So do you want to carry on? Yeah, I'll get him up for Christmas Day and he can watch uh, the um, Church on Ruby Road. I'll be better because I'll actually be there. And we can actually talk about the the episode. Uh, and, then, uh, and the amazing song goblin king we, goblin song and then we can talk about the goblin song and everything in in person rather than yes! over the internet which will be exhilarating yes! i'm sure um but um that's all this time so will where can you catch the podcast do you want to go through your platforms spotify spreaker deezer iheart radio pod chaser itunes um Pod lover. Pod lover. Pod, <laughs> Pod lover. Yeah, you Pod did chaser. haven't you did this last time as well? SoundCloud. SoundCloud, thanks. And YouTube. Yeah, but they're all down in the description, so if you want to go and check any of them out. But you don't do. you worry. Don't you, you don't worry. have to remember all places like Spotify, Spreaker, Deezer, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcast, iTunes, same thing. SoundCloud, Pod Love Pod Chaser. You can just press the link tree down below. Where we're available on all your favourite podcast listening places. And even the platforms that you hate. So, until. Like Spotify. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We love Spotify. I'm on Spotify. Guys, f- follow us on Spotify. Um, and. Oh, actually. If you want to write into the show, which I don't recommend you do, but we'll mention this if you want- a while ago. Um,. We have an email address Last that episode. you can write into if you want to email the Who guys, podcast. Guys, if you want to email us and have said what you want to say, you could go on about the how I'm the worst person on this podcast and you need to get rid of all the girls back. And I agree. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be dragged down at two o'clock in the afternoon to record a podcast about a Doctor episode I saw last week. Uh, I got very... Uh, emotional towards the middle of this episode i'm very sorry guys daniel have to do a lot of work to uh, make me sound less of a cock he said it I, i've stopped i stopped it for you, you just saved yourself then. um email in at uh the who pod at gmail.com at the who pod at gmail.com yeah. Not at the who pod, no, just, just the, the who pod, pod or, at or gmail dot com. Does it matter with emails? Although it doesn't matter, it's an email. Yeah. <laughs> I've always put my capital letters in my emails and everything. Doesn't matter, it's an email. I've always put it in lowercase. Do you know, you could even do it. You could do it. Some caps, some lower, some lower, some caps. We'd still get your message. So um, until Christmas, then yeah. uh, goodbye. Davina McCall. Thanks, Will. <laughs> Thanks for that contribution. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.